perhaps one of the most prominent problems of the modern world is terrorism. And today we caught up with a man who is no stranger to the war on terror, the ex-president of Pakistan and who, the man who ruled this country for nine years, Mr. Pervez Musharraf. Good day to you and thank you very much for joining us. And the very first question is that you came to Moscow now and to your opinion, what is the role of Russia in the war on terror and specifically in the region of Afghanistan? Yes, Russia has been uh, is very familiar with the region and therefore it must play a, a positive, effective role in stabilizing Afghanistan. What we need to develop in Afghanistan is a homegrown political system which keeps the integrity of Afghanistan intact. So therefore, uh, Russia must contribute towards that. Develop a homegrown political solution to the situation inside Afghanistan. Afghanistan was together for 300 years, more than that, through a term called Misake Milli. This is a socio-political compact, a national covenant, where they all, all the ethnic groups, the Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hazaras, Pakhtun, they decided to remain intact and accepted the sovereignty of the king. So we need to now, now that the king is no more there, we have to develop another homegrown Misake Milli, the same socio-political compact where the ethnic groups must ensure territorial integrity of Afghanistan and decide what kind of government they want. Russia must play a role in that. Mr. Musharraf, uh, many experts believe that the situation in Pakistan is deteriorating. What would your opinion be on this issue? Yes, it can, it will, it has to. These bomb blasts should not deter anyone that Pakistan is in danger. Pakistan can, uh, nothing will happen to Pakistan. Pakistan is a country of 170 million people and a very strong armed forces. Bomb blasts take place, it is most unfortunate that innocent people get killed. And who is doing this? It is being done by the same terrorists, some terrorists who have come from all over the world. Uh, these we call Al-Qaeda, who are there, they are foreigners, they are from all over the Muslim world, especially from Saudi Arabia, from the Gulf countries and North African countries, they are there and there are a lot of Uzbeks, Uzbeks and they were Chechens, but more Uzbeks, they are still there. So we need to fight them and defeat them and then with them it is the Taliban, the militant Taliban who carry out these bomb blasts. So we have to defeat them, uh, but we have to bear the brunt, unfortunately in innocent people being killed. General, you ruled Pakistan for nine years, almost ten, uh, but many actually blame you that you were running sympathy with Taliban. What would your reply be to these people? You think, you think it is very logical that those people who are trying to kill me, I will go and shake hands with them, is it very logical? <laughs> no, no, it is not logical. Nothing of that sort has happened. We have to go on a military path. 1,500 soldiers got killed. So you think we are dealing with them? <laughs> what kind of? We have killed hundreds of them. So how is it possible that this, what you are saying, that we are dealing with? Yes, we are dealing with them to have a political solution. You must deal with them to have political solution. Otherwise, how will you come to a political solution? So therefore, you, it is a three-pronged approach that we have always followed, that I have followed. Military, political, socio-economic. Political from position of strength. You use military, show them that you are strong, and then go for political resolution. Therefore, the, while we talk, we would like to talk to them. To what I've said, this Misake Milli, homegrown. How do you have a homegrown Misake Milli if you don't talk to them? You must talk to them. So we were talking to them, but that doesn't mean that we are with them. So this is, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people create these misperceptions. But still, Mr. Musharraf, uh, what do you think? To what extent did the United States influence or perhaps even boost Pakistan into the war on terror? I don't think so. American forces are doing action in Afghanistan. Pakistan forces are doing action to protect Pakistan. The Taliban are not what we want in Pakistan. 
their views on Islam are not what we want for Pakistan. Therefore, Pakistan Armed Forces are fighting Taliban in their own interest. Now, this is a misperception that everyone creates that I was fighting because Bush had told me. And now we are fighting because Obama is saying, no, no, we, Obama may be interested or Bush may be interested or US may be interested in Afghanistan, but our interest is Pakistan and nobody else. We fight for Pakistan. What do you think what the future holds for your homeland? The conditions uh, in Pakistan must improve. Pakistan has problems. Uh, we must recover from those problems. And that does uh, cause concern. Well, General, thank you very much for this very interesting interview and for your very precious time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.